Day of the Dead, Semi-State, Coach Kids, and more news coming your way. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hot Dogs. We're your new hosts. I'm Thomas. And I'm Yasmin. For lunch today, lines one and two hot dogs, line three soup and salad bar with potato soup, line four barbecue chicken or pe pepperoni or cheese pizza wedge, or line five closed. Birthday shout outs go out to Hugo Mejia, Jennifer Nava Lopez, Alanisa Juan, Oswaldo Santos, Selena Swain, Jesse Wessel, Mally Worth, and our favorite teacher, Miss Woodard. <clears throat> Thank you to Sam Michael for making the weekend menu for Backpack Buddies. Now to weather and sports. Thanks, Yasmin. Today's forecast is looking grim. The temperature for today is looking to be in the 60s all day, peaking at 66 around 4 o'clock. There will be over 50% chance of precipitation all day till about 8 p.m. Now to Abby with sports. Thanks, guys. In volleyball news, the volleyball team closed their regular season with a loss on the road to Southmont. The team finishes their regular season 18-12. and 12. Last Saturday, the girls went 4-0 to win the Twin Lakes invite for the second year in a row. The volleyball team finished their season with a loss to West Lafayette in sectionals play. Congrats on a great season, girls. As we look back on the regular season for the football team, most people will see a winless season. The coaching staff, however, sees the incredible growth the team has made over the past year, including growth from numerous first-time football players as well as returning players. The coaching staff is proud of the team and how they worked hard every day at practice and improved each week. They will travel to Ron Colley this Friday for sectionals play to end the season. The boys cross country team finished fourth place at regionals to qualify for semi-state for the second year in a row. Hugo Hernandez led the team with a 12th place finish. The girls team finished eighth overall with Karina Alanis qualifying for semi-state as an individual with her 30th place finish. She is our first girl semi-state qualifier since 2013. The boys team and Karina will compete at New Prairie High School on Saturday, October 26th. The girls cross country team will have a mandatory end of the season meeting today in room 403 at 250. That's it for sports, now back to the studio. On November 7th, we'll be celebrating Dia de los Muertos with food, music, face painting, and more. All donations that are collected at this event will be going towards the Olivas family. Remember, this event will be held on November 7th at the Forage Building from 4 to 6. Make sure you dress to impress. This month's DECA Social will be held this Thursday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Ivan Santos' house. Members are invited to watch a Halloween-themed movie while enjoying s'mores over a campfire. Feel free to bring a blanket to sit on for the outdoor movie. See for DECA officer for the street address. This is a member-only <coughs> event. Don't forget, if you're signed up to be a mentor for Coach Kids, there will be a meeting Wednesday during community. There will be snacks and you'll receive a $5 gas card. Make sure to be there. The FHS Theater presents Murder to Death, premiering Thursday at 7 p.m. $5 for student tickets and $8 for adults. Come out to enjoy the show. So, did you do anything exciting for fall break? You know, I did. I was able to work at Seven Lights of Trepidation. I got to scare people and raise money for Parkview Home. It was a blast. So, I didn't go. Well, that's it for today's announcements. Have a great Monday and we'll see you tomorrow.